Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Lake Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. We're going to be doing a general reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's going to tap into the energies that surround you, see what message your guides and angels have for you. I'm going to pull a few oracle for the energies that surround you from your angels and guides. And then I will clarify with tarot. I will read intuitively from the oracle. And then when I complete the tarot spread, I will read from the text. If you um, are a cross watcher here for Leo, remember flip switch the energies rolls. If it doesn't resonate, don't force it. So it says the answers you need are coming and then emotions are running high. So that is the energy that surrounds you at this time. So it's about being present within the moment to find solutions to a problem where there's a lot of emotions. Okay, so emotions are high at this time. So it's important to be grounded, to be centered, to be rested. Show me the energies that surround Leo. What does Leo need to know in regards to this energy? What is the message for Leo? Like I said, if you're cross-watching, flip switch. If it doesn't resonate, check out other placements. I have personals available. You can connect with me through the email that's provided in the description box. Show me the energy and the messages for Leo. What does Leo need to know at this time? What does Leo need to know? So marriage in the reverse. So possibly emotions are running high at this time because there's a breakdown in a connection or commitment where there was once love. It says you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love in the reverse. So walking away from a commitment, feeling disconnected from someone that you once had love for. Patience is the virtue that you need to be dependent upon at this time. It's about being patient, grounded still, because your emotions are running high. But there are answers coming in regards to this situation. It is happening for the greatest good. There is divine intervention as well as guidance provided to you at this time, Leo, in regards to disconnecting or having a breakdown in a commitment. So the number 20 may be significant to your situation. Spirit guides, angels, please provide me more energy for that which surrounds Leo. What does Leo need to know? Like I said, I'm gonna pull the uh, oracles, then I will clarify with a Celtic cross, and I will clarify that as well. Show me the energy that surrounds Leo. So there's gossip. So possibly there is a breakdown in a marriage or commitment that has become public knowledge. Spreading rumors, petty conversations, smearing your image, making you the fool. So somebody is gossiping about a breakdown in a commitment is what I feel. And this is causing a lot of feelings and emotions. But just know that the answers you need are coming. So be patient. Be grounded. Don't be reactive is what I feel. It says get away, go on vacation, begin an adventure, run away together. Okay, so let's see the energy of love that surrounds you. And then I will pull from tarot. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guys, please show me the energy of love that surrounds Leo at this time. And what does Leo need to know in regards to the energy of love? Show me the energy of love that surrounds Leo and what is it that they need to know at this time? There's definitely a heightened sense of emotions, fear, chaos, love call. It says someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. And then bottom of the deck, empath, narcissist, paradigm, but in the reverse, girl with a snake. Okay, so let's clarify this with tarot. Let's see what's happening, Leo. So there's an energy of a high, heightened emotions in regards to the disconnect of a relationship, breakdown of a marriage, someone is gossiping, someone is um, angry, someone is hurt, but expect some type of communication with an offer of love is what I feel. So the answers that you seek are coming, Leo. So guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides protect the energy of Leo. My collective also protect my energy at the highest as I channel this message. Only allow the messages of love and light to come through for the highest good. Show me the energy that surrounds Leo and what does Leo need to know. So the first card will be the anchor of the energy that surrounds you. The second card will be the challenge. I will pull the full Celtic cross and then I will uh, clarify. So when I say the full cross, it's what I pull, right? So we've got the emperor. So Leo, you're in control. So I feel that you may be connected to someone that has showed some type of disrespect, uh, possibly is gossiping or, or uh, spreading rumors in regards to a situation where there are a lot of emotions. Possibly someone is not liking the outcome 
or the way that you're interacting with them. So they're spreading rumors about you, but you are in full authority here. You are in control of the situation as well as your feelings and emotions, which is being validated, right? There's a lot of different feelings and emotions for yourself as well as whomever's connected to you. So be grounded. Just know that you are being guided towards what's the best outcome here for you. Um, there is an energy of someone that is in love with you, but feels very um, chaotic within this energy because we've got the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck here. All right, so things are playing out as they should. There is a cycle that is not um, in alignment with your purpose at this time. So you are standing firm within your decisions. You're taking control of the situation. With this Emperor energy, Leo, I feel that you are taking accountability and um, taking care of those that are dependent upon you. You are totally in control is what I feel. And this sword is kind of giving me that ace of swords energy as well. It's about seeing something clearly. So it's about trusting your intuition as well as your integrity is what I feel. You are guided to do what's right at this time. So be confident in the um, way that you are interacting within the situation is what I feel. Confidence is key. Show me the challenge that surrounds Leo at this time. So the emperor is Aries energy. You may be dealing with an Aries or you may have Aries in your chart. Show me the challenge that surrounds Leo at this time. So page of cups in the reverse and then the knight of pentacles. So you are dealing with someone that is not on the same emotional maturity as you. So this could be someone that you were married to or in a serious commitment with that you've walked away from because you had to. It was in your greatest good to put some type of a, a boundary up with this person because they were spreading rumors or they were operating under some type of a low vibration. You're dealing with someone that is not of the same emotional maturity as you with that page of cups in the reverse right is what I feel. This is someone that isn't in control. This is someone that needs to um, take a minute and step back from what they're doing. This is someone that's being very reactive is what I feel because of jealousy. This person is not liking the fact that you set boundaries with them is what I feel. So the challenge is maintaining um, this composure, maintaining your responsibilities while dealing with someone that's operating under low vibration that's trying to play games with you is what I feel Leo but just know that the person you're dealing with is very emotionally triggered at this time and that if you continue to stay in control of the situation that the answers that you need are coming is what I feel so the challenge is that you're dealing with someone that is very emotionally triggered at this time and you're being called to be patient to be grounded, to not react overly to this person's manifestation or vibration, whatever it is that they're doing. So take that as it resonates. We've got the gossip card, but that's someone that's operating from ego, someone that's got hurt feelings, someone that's been triggered. Now, I do feel this person has love for you, bottom of the deck, chariot. So just know that this is being divinely guided and there's intervention in play with the chariot here, this movement is necessary for the cycle to learn valuable lessons, right? The answers you need are coming. That is being divinely guided. So it's about maintaining your integrity. Leo is what I feel. This could be someone that you've disconnected from, someone that you've set boundaries with. This person doesn't like the way that you are dealing with them. It's triggered them in some way is what I feel because you are so calm and so in control at this time. It is emotionally triggering your person is what I feel. Show me the energies that surround Leo that they are not aware of. Please show me the energy that surrounds Leo that they are not aware of. So what did we have here? We've got Page of Cups, which is Pisces energy, and then the Knight of Pentacles, which is Capricorn. What you don't see that surrounds you is the Two of Wands in the reverse. The choice has been made. Because you are in control of the situation, it's showing me that you had no choice but to operate in this way, even though it might have been difficult to set boundaries with this person. You had no choice because it's about taking responsibility for those that are dependent upon you. And it's about seeing the situation clearly. So you know that this person that's connected to you is triggered right now, right? You know that this person is operating at a, a vibration that's less than where you are at right now. You are dealing with someone that could be younger than you, someone that is emotionally immature. So you see this very clearly right now. So you're taking the best decision, making the best decision to bring happiness, to bring clarity within your life and your situation with this Leo energy. You've taken your heart out of this decision 
you possibly do have love for this person that you've set boundaries with, but it's more important because you see the situation clearly. You're dealing with someone that needs to be grounded. Someone is very um, emotionally charged and triggered at this time. You may receive some type of communication in regards to this person apologizing or letting you know that they're thinking of you. Show me the energy of the recent past that surrounds Leo. What is the energy of the recent past? Temperance. Right, You've chosen to be balanced. You've chosen to not fight with this person. You've chosen peace is what I feel with that temperance. Now, temperance is major arcana for guidance. So we had the chariot and temperance. Temperance is Sagittarius energy. Two of wands is Aries. So there is an element of guidance towards this settlement, towards this peace. It's about coming together from these two different vantages and about being calm and stable within that energy, Leo. So there's an, a, there is advice here for you to maintain this level of security, stability, and peace is what I feel. Just know that the person that you're dealing with is coming from a place of jealousy, right? High Priestess, you are being intuitively guided to be balanced and peaceful at this time in regards to this exchange is what I feel. The high priestess indicates that you've had to set boundaries up with this person because of some secrets, possibly due to a disconnection in a marriage. What is the energy that surrounds Leo that Leo is aware of? Please show me the energy that surrounds them that they are aware of Ace of Swords in the reverse. You are dealing with someone that is playing games, someone that's being deceptive, someone that is not being honest in their communication. So you've set boundaries with this person. This person is operating under low vibration is what I feel, right? That Ace of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, bottom of the deck, Queen of Cups. You had to take your heart back from someone. You had to be in your masculine energy. Queen of Cups is feminine energy in my mind, right? We all have duality within us, but you are showing up as the emperor. So you've had to put your feelings aside to take responsibility for those that are dependent upon you. You are dealing with someone that is emotional charged at this time this person's triggered because you found out their deception is what I feel there's been some lies or secrets that have come to light because with that high priestess as well so you are dealing with someone that is ma being manipulative and dishonest is what I feel that queen of cups energy that's cancer and then the fool so somebody is wanting to take uh, a leap of faith in a new direction with you but they're not being open so this person that you're dealing with is very detached from their heart space this person isn't capable of love. This person is not on the same emotional maturity as you or the same emotional integrity as you because they're showing up as the Page of Cups and the Queen of Cups in the reverse as well as being deceptive. So your angels and guides are telling you it's all about being peaceful in this moment, being grounded, taking responsibility for those that are dependent on you. In this place of being grounded and peaceful, the answers that you need are coming. Right, And just know that this person is emotionally charged and triggered that's coming towards you. That's possibly going to reach out with some type of communication. This person is low vibration because they don't feel they have any access to you anymore is what I'm getting. What will the outcome of this situation be for Leo? What's the outcome of this situation for Leo? Page of Wands. So a message. Yeah, you're, I expect that you are going to be receiving some type of communication from this person. Again, you may be dealing with Sagittarius. This Page of Wands, someone younger than you. Again, this person is going to reach out with some offer of love. Meanwhile, they're being deceptive, right? Bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups. This is someone that sees your value and worth. This is someone that has love for you, but they are dealing with um, an energy that isn't coming from their heart space is what I feel. Three of Wands. This is someone that expects you to take them back. I feel this is someone that you were married to, someone that you once had a lot of love with. This is someone that you maybe even had children with, with that Ten of Cups energy, Pisces. But this person is playing games and being deceptive. So I do feel that this person is going to reach out and, and try and communicate in some way. So I'm going to clarify this a little bit further now. And I am going to move to a different deck. So if you like the way that I read, please let me know. If you have not done so, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit the notification so you're notified when I upload content. I would appreciate that. Why is the Emperor here for the Anchor Energy for Leo in regards to this situation? Why is the Emperor here? What does Leo need to know about that Emperor Energy? 
emperor is Aries energy. Why is the emperor here? It could also indicate that you are in your masculine energy at this time. You could be a father figure. You could be both, right? But you are taking control of the situation. You are being validated as offering security to those that need it is what I feel. We've got king of wands. So that's also Aries energy. So in regards to the anchor, you are marching to the beat of your own drum. You are very calm within this exchange. It's validation for your strength of character. Your integrity is what I feel. You are in alignment with what you're supposed to be doing. So there's validation for the way that you are operating within this energy. We've got Ace of Cups. There's love here. You have love for this person, but you realize that they're being deceptive. You have love to give and a lot to offer. And you are taking responsibility for those that are dependent on you with this Three of Pentacles. This is also a contract, but there's not equal reciprocation in this investment. This is someone that did not put in the work. This is someone that did not put in any effort. So you have set boundaries with this person because they were being deceptive and you had no choice but to take this um, direction is what I feel, Leo. Why is the page of cups here in the reverse with the knight of uh, pentacles for the challenge? Please clarify the challenge for Leo at this time. Please clarify this challenge. So Page of Cups is Pisces, and then the Knight of Pentacles, that's Capricorn Energy, Three of Wands. In the reverse, that's Aries, is no longer having any expectation, right? You've seen that this person is not operating from, from the right place, right? This person's gossiping, this person's low vibration, this person's lying. So you have no expectations for this person. You're just taking control of the situation. You're moving in a different direction. You're in alignment with your purpose and you are being validated at this time, Leo. Whoever it is that you're dealing with has messed up is what I feel. This is someone that's not operating from their heart space and they are emotionally triggered right now because you've set some boundaries. And because you're setting boundaries, you're able to take responsibility for those that are dependent upon you. You're taking responsibility for yourself. You're in control is what I feel. And that's something that's being validated with the five pentacles in the reverse. You know your value and your worth and you know what it is that you have to do at this time. So you're very mentally strong at this time. And these boundaries were necessary because you are dealing with someone that's kind of off the rails is what I feel. Someone that's very triggered at this time because they don't like that you've set boundaries with this person or with them, right? So the energy that surrounds you, Leo, that you are not aware of is this two of wands in the reverse. Please clarify the two of wands for the energy that surrounds Leo that they are not aware of. So the two of wands is clarified by the five of swords in the reverse, so five of swords is Aquarius energy. You're not playing games with this person is what I feel. This is someone that is, I want to say, you know, being deceptive. This is someone that is not being honest. So you've chosen to set boundaries with this person. You're not entertaining these lies is what I feel. You have love for this person, but you're shutting them down because you're more head over heart is what I feel with this person that you were possibly married to at one time, certainly someone that you had a soul contract with, this person that you're connecting to, Leo, didn't put in the work. This is someone that didn't do the work, is what I feel, and caused some pain within this connection because of deception, right? So you're not playing games with this person. You've chosen to turn your back on this person as long as they are operating from this place. So this is actually triggering your person. They don't like the fact that you've set boundaries with them, but there is validation for deception here. This person is not being honest with you. So you've chosen peace is what I feel in the recent past. You set boundaries. That temperance energy is about setting boundaries, Leo. Clarify the temperance for the recent past for Leo and this person that they're dealing with that's been deceptive. Please clarify this temperance energy. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you were dealing with someone that wasn't doing the work, that was working against you, that was causing chaos within your family, causing chaos within yourself. So you shut it down. You set up a boundary with this person. You disconnected this person. Also, I feel that you may have been financially, uh, this person may have been financially dependent upon you. And if you cut them off financially, that's another reason that they're really pissed off, right? And they're being deceptive is because you've cut them off in regards to finance is what I feel. That 10 of pentacles, that represents Virgo energy. Bottom of the deck, seven of pentacles, five of pentacles. It's about you taking control, six of swords. You're not interested in vibrating at this, 
at this place, right? You're not interested in staying in this chaotic energy with this person. So you've set boundaries with them. You are not going to entertain this lack mentality. Leo is what I feel. You've worked too hard and you know this person is not being honest. Clarify the Ace of Swords for the energy that Leo is aware of. Please give me more energy on that Ace of Swords. So you are aware that this person is lying. You know that they are coming back towards you possibly for finance, right? You know that they're being deceptive. So we've got Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Lovers. So this is someone that did not put in the work. Right, this is someone that you were attracted to. Again, we have the emperor and the empress. This is this was a soulmate connection for certain, but I feel like there was a choice made here, right? There was love here, there is love here, there was once a commitment here, right? But the queen of pentacles in the reverse shows me that someone stopped putting in the work and now they're being deceptive and they're not communicating the truth, is what I feel with that energy, Leo. Ace of Swords, right. So you are being honest, but your person isn't. So it's it's 180 degrees apart. Your person has completely flipped the script. And you are not accepting this, Leo. You've set boundaries with this person. With that Ace of Swords, Energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So the outcome, we've got Page of Wands. Please clarify the outcome for Leo. Why is the Page of Wands here? Clarify this outcome for Leo. Yeah, you're not going to you're not going to stay in that mentality. You're not going to play games with this person. You're going to let this person go because if they need the dark night of the soul, that's where they're headed. I do feel this person is going to make a call. There is communication with that page of wands as well as with this oracle to the 5 of pentacles. This person is going to communicate because they want to come out of this place of lack, but I do feel that this person is not being honest. Bottom of the deck, King of Swords. You're going to see it clearly. You're going to see exactly why this person is coming back with that Eight of Cups in the reverse. Pisces, King of Swords. That's Libra energy. So expect communication from this person because things are not working out. They don't like that you've set boundaries with them. They don't like that you've cut them off possibly financially. So expect communication from your person here is what I feel. Let me know if this resonates, Leo. If you are interested, hit me up for a personal. Please comment, share, like. Appreciate you. Take care. Bye-bye.